Hi, I'm Barry Jane from Barry Jane Makes and today I'm going to show you how to make one of these lovely little placemats. You may have seen my previous video showing how to make a toothbrush rug or an Amish, Amish rug, I'm never sure which way to say that. Um, this is on a much smaller scale for those of you who think that a rug is a little bit too daunting to make. So these placemats are really cool because you can just use it for your mug or on the side for your candles or even you may have guests over and you know pretty up the table a little bit and have little snacks in the bowl. You can use it on your dressing table, in the bathroom, wherever you want. I make my own crafting tool out of wire which I'll show you how to make. You could buy a um, toothbrush needle, but they're quite expensive. And I think if you can make your own gadget, it saves you so much money. And my fingers are very slippery. Anyway, you bend the needle like this, and then a bit of masking tape. If I can unpick it. That's great. Let's try again. Piece of masking tape. Just cover where you've joined the wire. And there you have one. There are two ways that you can connect your fabric together. They both start the same, with a little snip in the fabric, and fold, and snip. Push one piece through to the back, get the end of that same piece, push it through its own hole. Pull the fabric through, give it a gentle tug, and that's one way. The second way starts the same, little snip, little snip, place them on top of each other, the one that's in the front Get its end, push it from behind, push it through, there you go. So now you're ready to create the knots. This piece is what I'll refer to as the spine and this is my working piece. So what you need to do is create a number four and you're going to pass the fabric underneath and through, creating a knot. So that's the first knot. Do the same, like a number four, through, that's number two. Then what you're going to do, the skeleton part, or the spine, you pop that over there. You're going to bend this over so it resembles a flower. Oops. 
attach my needle. Okay. Got what looks like a flower. This piece is right up against it. You get your needle, push it through underneath the pink fabric. Second hole, and the third hole. At this point, if you think that gap is too big, you can pull this ever so slightly to close the gap up a wee bit. Okay. You find the next hole. I'll do it one more time. You just keep going. After a while, if you find that the space between here and the next hole is very, is quite wide, then what you do, you do two knots to each hole. So I've already done one. I do another one. So that's two. One, two. And then do the same here. One. Same again. Two. And once you feel that the spacing is small, it's been reduced, then you can continue with one knot to the hole. But go by what you feel. I like it with the big spaces. And then once it gets a bit too big, then I'll create two knots to the hole. You don't need to have two pieces of fabric joined together to start. You can start with one single piece. I need to tie it off. So I need to bring these pieces to the back. So what I'm going to do is push it through there. You know, you decide how you want to end yours. I think that's going to make it look quite neat. Turn it over. And I'm going to tie it into a knot being very careful not to pull it too tight otherwise you pull on the spine and it becomes a sort of a bowl shape and once you've tied it just tuck it There you go. There you go.
Here's one that I created earlier. This is made from a plasticky type of rope. So you can see where there's one knot to the hole. This one has got two knots. It's closed it up. It's made the, the knots tighter. And then in some of them, if I can find it, I have three. It just makes it all much tighter. So go by what you feel. You know, it's your it's your make. And the more you practice, the more you'll see how it works. I made this one out of an old pair of jeans. These are not your stiff blue jeans, these are a softer pair of pair of jeans. This was created in one with one continuous piece of ribbon. So I didn't cut it up at all. And because it's satin it just slides through. It's quite easy, she says. Now this is what happens when you end up accidentally pulling the spine a bit too tight. It goes like that, which is quite cute. I think I might start making little bowls, but just pull it back around and you'll be fine and just carry on. If you find that you get towards the end, so you've got that much left and you've got a lot of spine, just swap it around. Make that the spine and make that the working piece. And just carry on as before. You won't even notice. Nice finished piece. <laughs> 